So the panel C here, it lists down the ledger accounts or posting of the all the assets, liabilities, and stockholders' equity. Right? So we have some balance, starting balances, and then you just post those entries on the ledgers. Answer would be here. Right? Just pause the video and try to see that and match it according to your lecture slides. So open the lecture slides and, uh, and see that the entries are posted here correctly or not. So up till now we have went through the adjustment of the accounts and now we will learn what is adjusted trial balance. So after adjusting entries, posting it to ledgers, we make the adjusted trial balance which summarizes all the accounts and their final balances after adjusting entries has been generalized in posted. So it means adjusted trial balance is made after adjusting the after adjusting entries which will first go to the journal and then ledger. So the adjusted trial balance is basically act as a source for preparation of final statement which is income statement balance sheet and statement of retained earnings. So here the exhibit 3.9 it shows the worksheet of preparing for the adjusted trial balance or Friday's auto service incorporation. So you note that how clearly the worksheet presents the data, the account title and the trial balance data come from the unadjusted trial balance. The two adjusted column summarizes the adjusting entries. The adjusted trial balance column then gives the final account balance. So each adjusted account in the 3.9 exhibit is the unadjusted balance plus or minus the adjustments the, the plus or minus the adjustments so let me explain that so this already is given right so these are the entries that we just made through adjustment of the entries and how this adjusted trial balance came from you just add debit balance into the debit balance so if, if, if it is credited then we minus the balance here so where this 2500 came from account receivable balance was 2200 after adjustment you add 300 more this is the debit side this is the debit side. so that's why these are, this is added into and it become 2500 right and now you can see that here in supplies 700 which is debit and according to the uh, adjustment it is 300 300 is credit and 700 is debit so the balance would be 400 debit let me just remove it here so it makes me more clear so prepaid rent 3000 was debit balance through adjustment the credit balance of thousand right so when you adjust it it become two thousand so greater sides you write it down as a debit balance credit less credit is thousand so it's two thousand right so basically you write it down all the adjustments and their balances here and you compare it with the trial balance and then you find out the final adjusted trial balance so let's see further illustration to understand the adjusting entries so phoenix equipment rentals company faced the following situations so generalize the adjusting entry needed at december 31st so be close as so, 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 so be ready to pay close attention on the dates right so the business has interest expense of 1200 that it must pay early in 
in January 2015 and right now you are making adjustment entries on 31st right so interest that you have to pay in January right what would be the entry here entry would be interest expense to interest payable right interest has been occurred but not paid right so entry would be interest expense to interest payable well done and then adjusting entry needed for 31st the unadjusted trial balance of supplies account shows 3200 the total cost of supplies on hand is 1500 which means the balance was it, uh, the beginning balance was 3200 but now the in hand balance is 1500 how much is used so you say that 3200 was an on hand 1500 so what is x here so when you find out the x x is going to be here 3200 minus 1500 is 1700 so 1700 supplies we use right the entry would be supplies expense to supplies right here supply expense to supplies 700 the other adjustment entry that is needed on December 31st that the salary expense is 7000 per day Monday through Friday and the business pays employees each Friday so this year December 31st falls on Wednesday what does it mean this means that, that the business will only pay on Friday but now the payment date is on Wednesday so it means accrued expenses expense occurred but not been paid it will be paid on Friday but Friday is beyond 31st December so when you record the transaction or close the books on 31st of December then you will say that <laughs> salaries has not been paid right so salaries would be 7000 for like Monday Tuesday Wednesday we have three days so 21,000 salaries expense to salaries payable right 21,000